awesome. I really wish you would like have that on video that you mess up. I wish I wish I would have too, because they could laugh like you are laughing at me. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. I'm Tanya. Tanya and Shanna, Five and Family Homestead. So Take I got five. Yes. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I thought I shot. I've, this is the third attempt on this intro. Okay, so then what do you do? So anyway, Tanya and Shannon are back here right? doing some brine That's for right? the chicken that we just processed. That was our previous yeah, video. Okay. So, uh, so while they're doing that, we're going to do a Texas homestead tour right here at 5M Family Homestead. We're going to tour a homestead here in Texas. Let's get started. By the way, I got Tobin and Easton over here, and Easton's the one giving us the tour. What? Well, I think I know you. Oh, am I trespassing? Yeah, you're trespassing. Trespass. Hey, I, I think I know you. Oh, okay. Are you that guy that tries to act like he, he um, he, his Tesla is the most expensive one in the world? Yes, that's me. <laughs> oh, okay. But it's not. Oh. Hey, I am on the list for the truck. Okay. Are you really? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to sell this one if I get it, though. Oh, okay. Okay, okay right. where are we at, Easton? Okay. So first we're going to be starting off where we are, um, where we keep all of our gardening stuff, which is in here. So this is all your garden stuff. Mm-hmm. And also where we keep our lake. So the, the, right here is where the chickens come in at night. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like y'all haven't seen this before, but there's the door. We built that. Um, it wasn't like this when we bought it. We built that. Did you did you help your dad build it? Yep, I okay. I only helped him build the door. The rest of it I couldn't. I I didn't know. Okay. So and then coming over to here, we have our uh, processing pigs. Um, all of them will eventually be bacon. So eventually be bacon. I mm -hmm. like it. So uh, there's that one right there. Is the you do not want to get near him because he has bit people's legs. And he also tries to knock you over. So yeah, he is. He is a little mean. So we got three pigs there, and okay. one of them's for us, and two we're raising for other families. And they've already paid for them, and we're gonna deliver them to the truck. Yeah. Gotcha. Look at that. Yeah. Zipper spider. Mm -hmm. And then walking into here, you're gonna want to get this he one. You don't need to walk in there, buddy. You need to show yeah. I mean, I get you to walk in. You want to walk in here and see the silkies? Let's. Uh, here, I'm gonna let you. Okay. Your, your video on the silkies. Okay. Here, I'll open it for you. Okay. You go in there and uh, video the silkies for me. Okay. Because I'm looking a little tall for that. If you look right there, there's some silkies, and I think that one's the mop. No. Ethan, open this door right here. And you can see inside there. Wait, up at the top. No, no, up at the top. Okay. I can't open this with one hand. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't open that. So, if in there, there is... A rooster and down here is the mama the that one right there those no hands, babies no mm -hmm. not yet those hands are brood two hands are in there are broody yeah dad turn off the camera that's fine i get it okay so this is their silky pen basically and if you'll notice they have this black netting here and that's so aerial predators don't come in here and take their little chickens because these silkies are kind of on the small side so there can actually be a lot of aerial predators that can make it in here. There's an egg right there. You yep, want to grab sure it for me? Well, that one looks cracked. That one's broken. Oh, it is. In the corner. But I do like that they have this watering system. Mm -hmm. Whoa. We also built that from scratch. Yeah, so they have this watering system. Comes over here. You just got one nipple at the time? Uh, or is there, oh, yeah, there is two. two. On outside, two on oh, so there's two on the outside yeah. of the fence for the outside chickens. Yeah, the problem That's is right. this thing, we need it. I need to build a a shade for it because it gets the water in it gets pretty hot yeah and algae too yeah that's what so, that was one of the issues i had with yeah. it yeah so mo mostly everything you see here we built except for the house and some stuff i'll show you the stuff i tell you if we built it okay so, you tell me uh that shed we did not build but we built the show them that show them right here first so this our is garden is our garden but it's not doing so good so this is what happens in texas when it's 105 degrees for consecutive days yeah and you haven't had rain in over 40 days. We have watered, I mean, an unreal amount of water. And those, all that that's dead there are cucumber plants and they just, they, 
they, you can't keep them alive. Yeah. There's nothing you can, you can do water all you want. Yeah. It's just nothing like it, like if it was just some rain. So I do like this too. Little chicken feeders. Because they need some fresh rainwater. They don't need faucet water. They need fresh rainwater. Yep. And then moving over to mm, this one. Uh, uh, can I show them the inside of it? It's hot in there, but you can open the door. Okay, so this right here is our sh uh, our storage shed slash office for my dad. This is where we keep all of our coolers. This one's the the beauty. The beauty. <laughs> it's kind of hot in here, but we'll just show them the inside real quick. It is an office. This is, and that's a futon, so you can sleep and stuff. And they like to we'll look at you when you sleep. Those. Are oh yeah, definitely. Mhm. Mm you have sometimes you have nightmares when you sleep in here because you <laughs> you see those. It's now walking over here. This has made helped us make it through the summer because it feels nice when you get in here. Well, jump in there and show me. Okay, deal. I'm kidding. You don't have to do that. Wait, we can maybe get it on camera later. Okay. I would actually do it. Though. Hey, Ethan, what about the storm shelter? That's we're not going to go inside there because yes. nobody's ever seen the inside of it. Well, on one video, but but no, we haven't shown anybody. Any. It's We're going secret. That's it's our storm shelter for Texas tornadoes. This is your bunker, mm -hmm. bunker as some people shelter. call it. <laughs> I feel like I should like open it and like you blur it as I open it. <laughs> All right, what else? Okay, so um, that is a secret. What's inside there? And see that right there? We built that. The deck. That's mm -hmm. what I'm about to have to build. We also built that, but we didn't actually build it. We only built. Uh, someone else built it, but we built the like inside. So then we did not build this. This came with the house. And then now we're. Oh, should we show them the fort? Sure. Okay. Mike wants to show yeah, them. let's go look at the fort. Okay. Right now, you do not want to go back there because that's how you get stung by wasp. Um. All I mean, the way back here on the fort, there's a yeah. bunch of wasps over Wait, there. I don't think there's wasps right now. Unless you, if you want to go back there, do you want to? No, we're good. We'll just sit from here. Yeah, it's it's good. it's made it through a dozen tornadoes, a couple raccoons. A and, dozen tornadoes. Uh, or maybe more. So. So and, is this where your chickens originally were? Yeah, and then now they're in our freezer, about to be. Now they're in the freezer. Mm-hmm. So that right there is our burn pit. That's where we like, if we have tons of like brush, like we cut down, we set that right there and Gotcha. We have a video of us lighting on fire. If you wanna, maybe could you put an eye card like right here? That's where it'll be. Okay. And then so is this like your dog's track? You see how the dog, you can see where the dog runs. That's a four wheeler. Oh, that's a four wheeler track. All right. Mm -hmm. We do drifts right there. And Drifts. And also half that's also because how dead Texas is. Texas yeah. is. So, and this is our only tree on the property except for back there. Those yeah. do not count. Those don't count. Inside the property. Well, this tree right here gives a lot of shade. Mm -hmm. And then we have those mini trees. This is the only full tree we have on the property. And then we have water systems. Everywhere you look for the chickens, we have water system. And gotcha. Then right here is our uh, dog's pool. So it's it's really nice as you can tell. Um, so over here is a pinching so mat. So now you're gonna get dirty feet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did that for the video. So um, that is. This a is for Reed to pitch. Uh huh. Perfect. Perfect so strike. Now we're gonna move to right there. I mean, if we can ask my dad, we can give you an inside tour if we want. Okay. I don't think anybody on our channel has seen like the full inside of our house. Okay. Uh, we don't have to do the inside of the house. You might want to blur that because that thing's a piece of crap. So don't don't show the subscribers this. Yeah. I don't think I ever like nobody sent it fully. Yeah. Uh, editor Mike, make sure that's blurred. Okay. We'll blur that out. Mm -hmm. So moving back here, this is if you don't know we have a taxidermy business. Right here is where we wash uh, wash the deer heads. And then hold that, and then over here um, is our. So this our, is where this is a drain, so mm -hmm. all the water goes out there. Okay. And also we wash the dogs there. Okay. And then we have a freezer right here. You do not want to open that because you will literally throw up. Okay. And I'm not joking. Um. 
And then we have that, which we just got today. I don't want to tell you the story behind that. There's a pretty interesting story about that shelf right there, but we'll leave that out for now. Should we tell them? But not tell them how it happened. Just tell them, yeah, um, Mike was going down the road, and um, and Mike said, I'm not sure if we should drive with this on the road. We said, it's fine. Whoosh. So it came right out of the truck, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Flew right, and right out of the back of the truck. Mike went, hey, hold on. So really that worked. shelf right there, we uh, stopped and picked up. Actually, Tobin wanted to stop and pick up. Someone was just giving it away. I saw it first. Yeah, so I, I got out real quick and said, I got dibs. So I'll put a little bit of that video because we actually shot, shot some of this. So I'll put that right here. Go get it, go get it. Hurry. Dibs, I got dibs. <laughs> <laughs> now, just, you can't put it in the back. I'll take it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. You're like, get out of the truck, get out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so they're putting this shelf that Tobin found on the side of the road in the back. No, the I found it. I saw it first. I said, I got I dibs. Thought, I saw it first, actually, and he was like, I was hey, like, Dad, you probably you stop. Might, you might want to move out of the way from us because we're going to floor it once we get to the straightaway. We're going to see how fast the car goes. So get behind us. He's lying. <laughs> okay, he said, go around. And, and then what we did was we put the shelf in the back of my truck, and then what happened, Easton? Um. I'm not going to tell you exactly what we were doing. But bad influence. Yeah. This kid's a bad influence. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what, <laughs> what actually happened. But we were driving and, and Mike goes, oh, crap. And then we just, and, and Tanya's like, did you run over a turtle? And we just looked behind us <laughs> and like, it's nope. just. Uh, the, the shelf was, went airborne and flew out of the back of the truck. So now it's in their trash. <laughs> Pick up one man's trash and it becomes your trash. Mm -hmm. So Tanya was like, um, Tanya was like, Ray, go get it, go get it, because we were riding in their truck, and um, uh, Tanya was like, go get it, and, and Mike was going like 30 miles per hour, and Reed was already out of the truck going to grab it. Yeah. So okay. yeah, we're bad influences. So and then in here, you might want to plug your nose also where we keep all of our taxidermy stuff. Wow, there's way more stuff than I remember. So, if y'all watch, a lot of y'all already watch Tobin and Shannon on, on 5M Homestead. They have a taxidermy business that they do in the fall, when deer, basically during deer season. This is where they store everything uh, and they work out of this shed. Let me give you a close up. Don't complain how many power washers we have. We have enough. There's, this is not all the power washers. Yeah, so, more. so when I told Tobin, I was like, hey, you'll need some propane for the chickens. He said, no problem. Well, now I see why. Mm -hmm. He's got plenty of propane in there. We, um, last year we had literally, I'm not even kidding, maybe a hundred propane tanks. And he's got seven burners. Mm-hmm. Seven. There's six in there and there's one outside. And that's not all of our, uh, all of our power washers. We still have more. So that oh, yeah. is this. That's for the boys. And then if you look right there, we, we, so they installed a drain to go out to the ditch. And then we also built this little shed right here. We also built this. And uh oh, you, you want a popsicle? Hey, camera, camera. You want a popsicle? Yes. Yep, they'll take it. Yes. Thanks. So this is uh, where Tobin does a lot of his taxidermy work. Again, if y'all have seen their videos, you've definitely seen this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, half the, some of these deer heads in here, like maybe 10% of them are other people's because they didn't come to pick them up. We just kept them for ourselves. They, so they never showed to pick them up, huh? Head in front of the right. So they got a broody oh, hen in here. Green, so oh, yeah. oh, hello, girl. You trying to have some babies in there? So that little hen that I just showed you, she's broody and she's laying on the eggs, but they don't have a rooster out here, so they're not fertile. Yeah, I don't have any. No eggs? No. All right. Okay. I was hoping. Oh, come on. They're so excited. I was hoping that they were sitting on five. I was really hoping to have those out for y'all, but I went in there last week 
and none of them were viable. Really? Yeah. So, I don't know. That's okay. We'll get some eventually. We'll no, try. I'm going to get them to, like, probably, I can even meet y'all one day. Like, I can gather some up and we can meet in, like, Gainesville or something. Okay. You'll have to bring your little. Probably in a couple weeks, actually, because we're going to Hess in a couple weeks. Maybe we can work it out where okay. I meet y'all halfway and then give y'all some eggs and y'all can use the incubator. That'll give me some time, too, to hash them out. Yeah. Okay, we have just arrived at Babe's Chicken. So we were at a different Babe's a few videos back with uh, when we went and ate dinner with a subscriber, TC Games. But now we're eating it with 5M Family Homestead. You ready for this? Yes, I'm ready for some chicken. It's pretty good food, isn't it? So the other Babe's we went to had a fire truck. This one's got a little tractor. <laughs> I guess Easton's hungry. <laughs> So the other babes had a, a guy like this. Hello. Alright, we've got smoked chicken, fried chicken, chicken fried steak, chicken tenders, and then fried catfish. Oh, what about sides? Sorry? What about the sides? We have mashed potatoes, green beans, gravy, and corn, and then you'll get salad and biscuits with your drinks. So do we get sides regardless of what we order? So you'll each choose a meat and then all the sides come All the with sides, it. okay. Sounds good. Are y'all ready? So we have Let's ready. do this. Yeah. Alright, so they first bring out some base. salad I and need some it. bread. It's and it's good. Yeah. Smoke chicken one for the usual because that's all I use. Mashed potatoes and gravy. That's corn. Oh, that is corn. Corn's good. We got the steaks on top. Okay. What's on the Oh, I thought that was blue. Underneath, we have chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. So, my chicken fried steak for Tanya and who else? Chicken tenders for Tanya. Oh, Tanya. And then chicken tenders are underneath. All right. Looks yummy. It's eating time, baby. Woohoo! Hold on, dang it. Yeah, he took a little bit. All right. Go. It's chicken time, baby. Woohoo! It's chicken time, baby. Woohoo! Back. Yeah. Looks delicious. Look at these tenders. Everybody get some? I need the gravy out. Chicken tenders? Mm -hmm. really good. Pretty good. Okay, y'all, that's gonna wrap this video up. That's our second video out here at 5M Family Homestead. I just wanna give them a big thanks, uh, allowing us to come out here, spend the day with them. We had a great time. Uh, we're only about an hour and a half away, so we could definitely do this more often. Our first video, we butchered 10 uh, Rudd Ranger chickens and probably eight or nine quail. I can't remember now. And then this video, of course, you just saw. I let Easton give us a tour of the property. Uh, Easton's a pretty cool kid. We like him a lot. Um, but if you're not already following 5M Family Homestead, please go down and give them a, a, a chance. Go check out their videos. Uh, subscribe. Give them a like. Okay, we will see you guys on the next video. Remember, do the good. Laughter.